Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are unable to update your Windows 10 because of this error code that is 0x8071ab1, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Copy this command, type in cmd in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator and then click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here, hit the enter key. Once this is done, now restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart, update your Windows 10 and then check. Still you are unable to update your Windows 10 because of this error, then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run update troubleshooter for this open Windows 10 settings and then go to update and security. Now click on troubleshoot. Now click on additional troubleshooters. Over here you can see Windows update, click on it and then click on run the troubleshooter. Once the troubleshoot is, troubleshoot is complete, now restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart, update your Windows 10 once again. Still you are unable to update, then the next step is to use Windows 10 update assistant for this. Copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser, it will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Windows 10 update assistant. Click on update now. Now uh, this will download the exe file, run the exe file. So run this exe file, click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 10 update assistant. If there is any pending update, it will let you know. So it will check for update and if there is any update, you can click on accept and install and after the installation, restart your computer and your Windows 10 should be up to date. Still you are unable to update, in that case you can reset Windows update components for this. Copy all these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy the command till here. And open notepad on your computer. So type in notepad in Windows search box and then open notepad. Paste all the command over here. Now go to file then click on save as. You can set the location at desktop. And then name this file as wufix.bat. And for save as type select all files, now click on save. Now go to desktop, make a right click on wufix.bat file, make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you are opening this file as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now this will open command prompt. First of all, it will stop all the Windows update services. And then it will run couple of scans. Now the scan will take some time. So let the scan complete. There are a couple of scans. So the scan will take time. And once the scans are complete, it will restart all the Windows update services. And once the restart is complete, again restart your computer. And after the system restart, update your Windows 10 once again. Now the next step is to, still you are un unable to update. In that case, use media creation tool. This is the last step. So you can again go to this website. Now scroll down over here you can see media creation tool. Click on download tool now. And once the download is complete, run this exe file. And then you will see this screen. So click on accept. And by default upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on next. And it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now before the installation, on this screen, once the download is complete, on this screen, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep your personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install after the installation, log into your computer and then update your Windows 10. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.